Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dillion and if this is your first time here, I'm a software engineer and I'm a content creator passionate about simplifying topics around the web. So if this is content you like to see more of, kindly subscribe. In today's video, I'll be showing us how to write or how to create conditional props using TypeScript React. So let's get started. Firstly, I'd like us to understand what conditional props in React is or what conditional props are. Now conditionals in programming languages means you are trying to execute a statement depending on a condition. So when a condition is met you are executing this and if that condition is not met you are executing that. So bringing that context of conditionals into conditional props here you are specifying that when this condition is met you want this component to require this certain number of props and when this condition isn't met you want this component to require another set of props now enough with the theories let's look at that in code so this is a, this is a simple application created with create react app and then here i have the links array here i have my props here with type alias using TypeScript and I have an authenticated property to be a boolean which can be true or false and then I have a username to be a null. Of course it will be null if the person is not authenticated and if the person is authenticated it will be a string. And then over here I have my nav links which concat which of which if the user is authenticated and the username actually exists then we'll concatenate um, the profile link to the previous links else we concatenate the sign in link to the previous links and then here we have the component declaration and then over here we can use it by saying header now header would require two properties header would require an authenticated to be false and header would require a username so if the authenticator can be a boolean so if the authenticated is false of course the username would be null and then when we render this, we have this home about sign in. And if we have the authenticated to be true, but leave the username as null, over here we we'll still have home about and sign in. Unless we remember to change this username to be a string, which can be, in this case, Dillion. And then when we go here, we have home about Dillion. Now, if you look at this code, when you change the authenticated, you also have to change the username. If the authenticated is false and the username actually exists, we still get the sign-in link. So using conditional props, we can tell this component that if the authenticated property is true, you should also require the username. But if the authenticated property is false, then we do not need the username. And this is how we do it. We do, we do it using discriminated unions in TypeScript. And this is what discriminated unions mean. So we have a union, which is an object or an object. And in this object here, we're going to have an authenticated of false, not Boolean this time. It's going to be false. And over here, we're going to have an authenticated of true. So this is a union of two objects, which, which means the components can receive false or true. But that's not all. Since the username is going to exist when the person is authenticated then over here we can have a username of string no longer null or string just a string so this is telling this component now that when the user of this component provides an authenticated or false then you do not need to request for another property but then if the user specifies an authenticated of true then a username is going to be required but the reason why this is called a discriminated union is this. Over here, you cannot do something like props.username. That's because username does not exist on props. TypeScript, as of this moment, does not know that there is a username property on the props object. And the reason is this. TypeScript has a union. So if the person provides an authenticated or false and you try to do props.username, that's going to throw an error. So this is a discriminated union in the sense that they both share a similar property. And these properties helps TypeScript to know the remaining definitions for the object. So now we can have our nav links to be this. So because nav links is equal to if props.authenticated then we're going to concatenate hrf of profile and 
name to be props.username. You see, now the props.username exists because TypeScript is aware that the authenticated is true. But then, using the other part of the ternary operator, links.concatenate href of signing. Now, over here, if you try to access the props or props.username, you're going to get an error because when the user, when the authenticated is false, which is the other part of this ternary operator, the username object does not exist. So we do not need this line. And then you can think I'm missing something here. Sign in. And what's left? That should be all. Okay, name of sign in. Now this is how we specify conditional props. And then we can go back here now to use this component. Now when you specify an authenticated or false, you can see that TypeScript is already complaining because when it is false, then the component does not require any other property. And on the UI here, you can see type authenticated false username string is not assignable to authenticated false. But when you specify an authenticated of true here, and you erase this part, TypeScript is going to complain again that there is a required username prop that you are not providing. So this way you can now specify the username to be Dillion and then our UI is as it should be. Using conditional props with TypeScript that we can see in this video makes you to properly identify or properly specify the required props of a component without doing too many ifs in your component. Say this was a large code base and you're trying to assess username in different places, then you'd have to be doing um, is props username not null, is prop username a string, then do this, is prop username a string, then do this. But using conditional props, all you have to do is just specify in one place, if the person is authenticated, then the username property exists. But if the person is not authenticated, the username property does not exist. This also helps you to write cleaner code as we can see. When you specify false, there is no need of saying username should be null. But when you specify true, now you know that there are extra properties that you need to provide. And that brings us to the end of this video. So I believe you, you have learned something new or now you have a better understanding of what conditional props in React are. So if you like this video, kindly like it kindly subscribe and also share with your friends.